In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download the planner onto your iPad and import it into GoodNotes. So the page that you're on at the moment, you will see the three different options. All of the colors are the same. The planners are identical, except for that you have a, an option with a Sunday start calendar, an option with a Monday start calendar, and that's just down to personal preference. So just choose whichever one you'd like or you can get the undated calendar. And if you're uh, downloading this at the end of 2022, I would suggest going with the undated calendar because then you can start right away and add in the months for November and December by writing in your own dates. Um, these two calendars at the top are for next year, they're 2023 calendars. So I'm going to tap on uh, the calendar for 2023 with a Monday start and it will open in a new window and just give it a few minutes to load. It is a 200 page PDF file, so make sure that your internet speed is up to scratch and uh, it should only take a few seconds as you can see. So now I can quickly just scroll through, but the best thing to do is to just download this straight onto my iPad. So by tapping in the center of the screen, you should be able to see open in appear at the bottom right here. And sometimes it just goes away. So if it's going away, just tap the center of the screen and then tap open in and if for some reason you can't see the open in button appearing here when you tap you can also tap this up arrow at the top of your browser and uh, a menu will appear and if you just scroll down you'll be able to see the save to files option or also open in good notes or notability depending on which app you have installed and you can also save to files from here and that's another option if you're not quite sure yet and you haven't downloaded your app you would just tap save to files and make sure that you remember the file location or start a new folder on your ipad so that you don't um, lose it so i'm just going to tap straight into good notes and i'm going to import as a new document like so Okay, and so um, the first thing I always do when I import a new document is I just tap the back button and I want to rename that straight away. So I'm going to do that by tapping the little down arrow next to it and I'm going to call this 2023, but you can obviously name yours whatever you'd like. Press done and that's renamed. Okay, and we, we're going to have a full tutorial that walks you through some tips and tricks for using GoodNotes. So um, that will be below, but this one is uh, just to show you how to import it to your device. So the other way to do that is, as I mentioned, downloading to files and you're going to press the plus button here and select import from the menu here. And this is where you can uh, look for that in your files. As I said, remember where you've uh, saved it. So I've saved one in a folder called planners. And then you just tap on the file to import and you bring it in like that. And one final thing to note about GoodNotes is that in order to use the hyperlinks with the tap that I'm using here, you need to make sure you're in read only mode. So if you can see a toolbar that looks like this, this is the annotation mode and the hyperlinks you can see I'm tapping here, they won't work. And if you're using an Apple pen and you happen to be in annotate mode and you're trying to type, you may accidentally start drawing on the page like so. If that happens, don't stress, it's re it's recoverable. Um, you can tap the three dots up here if you make a mistake at any time on any page and you can clear the page. Or of course, if you just want to clear a selection of the page, you can just use the eraser tool like so. But yes, just make sure that you toggle off the annotate mode so that you can fully go through the planner and uh, use all of the pages and the hyperlinks. So keep an eye out for the longer tutorial on GoodNotes, which runs you through a whole bunch more tips for organizing the pages, duplicating, copy and pasting. Um, but for now, enjoy getting set up with your GoodNotes and the planner app there and please reach out on Instagram or Etsy if you have any troubles at all. I will be happy to help.